It's quite clear from the first of these that we've put out that people love the Lego model, or at least a lot of people do find it useful. So yeah, we want to take it on a bit further today. We have this pre-prepared linked list of barbecue items, which are all in alphabetical order. And last time we covered about how would you insert a new item into this list if it was something that you'd forgotten to buy and you bought it later. This thing called P is pointing at exactly the same structure at the head of the list as start is. So we now have got the problem of inserting burgers alphabetically into this linked list. Now, doing that with conventional techniques, well, we covered that before and it is OK, it works, but it's somewhat messy. I wasn't happy, never have been happy over the years with the way that that's done in the conventional single level pointer technique. Is there anything you can do that's better? Well, yes, there is. This came about or was made clear to me many years ago now in that uh, I, as many of you know, originally did this in a language in the early 70s called Algol 68. And the people who had done the Algol 68 compiler for the machine we were working on was the Royal Radar Establishment uh, in Malvern in the UK. And one or other of the people there who did that compiler could be Sue Barn, could be Philip Woodward, just said to me and my colleague Andy Walker at the time, they said, you're teaching this stuff now. You do realise that Algol 68 can do the triple ref technique which previously has only been available to assembler programmers. We said, really? Can it? Yes. And yes, it can. So what on earth is this? Well, despite that technical name, it's actually a pointers to pointers technique. It's very powerful. And you might think, well, if you've got pointers, why on earth would you want pointers to pointers? Well, the strange thing about this and the really remarkable thing is that in the end, it makes your procedure for doing things simpler, not more complicated. So what do we do? Well, we've got burgers here and we're going to try and put it into the correct place just as before. But instead of using a previous single level pointer and then having to say, well, it's all very well, it can probe what the strings are, but what you had as the problem was you'd forgotten where you came from. And when you splice burgers into this list, you need to know what's ahead of you, but you need to know where you came from. It's the previous blue box. And if you're not careful, you lose any way of getting at that. So if you look at my solution using traditional techniques, I carefully keep a second pointer to remember where I came from. This will no longer be necessary. Here we go. We introduce a thing which I'm going to call Tracer. Tracer's contents are of type pointer to pointer to thing. So the way you declare that in uh, C is it's a thing star star because you declare things by their contents in C. So inside tracer is a thing star star. It's a pointer to a pointer to a thing. So therefore it's absolutely right that you can make and look at this piece of chain here. That's to say that a pointer to a pointer, although it's a pointer, is not the same thing as a single level pointer to a thing. It's perfectly OK for me to attach that to there. And saying that, the contents of Tracer is a pointer to a pointer to a thing. So I'm pointing to the address of a box, which inside it has got a pointer to the thing, which in this case is the head of the list. You basically use a technique known as casting of pointers. You can take a jump, you can dereference, you can follow the link. You can either do it once to get to here, or when you've got to there, you can jump the pointer again and get onto an actual thing at the head of the list. So it's two steps removed, yeah? So starting here, you jump there, you, then you look along the black hose here and you say, I'm looking at something called beer. And I want to put in my thing here, which is burger. And the idea of this is always that you insert a head alphabetically of where you are, if that's what fits. No. Burger isn't earlier than beer in the alphabet, it's later than beer. So what you have to do now is to try and look ahead at the next thing, which we will discover is chips. Now here's the really cool thing about using the tracer pointer to pointer technique, is that if inspecting beer said, no, we've not gone far enough yet, what we now do, instead of 
awkwardly moving our single level pointer down the list. You take this blessed great link and do wait for it folks, this is absolutely cool, okay? If I made Tracer originally point at a blue box because type-wise it was right, then it follows that all of these blue boxes in turn, I can make it point through those to take a peek at the next one down in the list. It's as simple as that. You see, type theory by colours. A green thing can point at a blue thing, but it can't point directly at a red thing. So you look at this and you think, well, by the principle of coloured Lego type theory, if I can make the green thing point at any blue thing, I can do that. And then you say, but what does that imply in the programme? It implies in the program that you've got to be able to find the address of a blue box that's embedded within a particular thing structure. And look, look what you could then do is you start with Tracer, you jump to that box, but then you jump down the fireman's hose and you can take a look and you see that the next thing is chips. And you say, wow, I've just seen beer. I'm looking ahead by this sneaky technique and I see chips, that's where I belong. I want the burger thing in there. So this is completely magic. Um, but, but does it generalise and does it work? And the answer is yes it does. Because by stepping one step backwards and going through an intermediate blue box before you do anything, the crucial advantage it gives you is that having decided that burgers does belong in here, the problem we previously had of saying where the heck did I come from is solved because Tracer is still pointing at it. So you say to Tracer, let me dereference you once and I've then got the address of the box I want to alter so that it points at the burger thing. And we end up just like we did I think last time but using the Tracer technique of saying there goes burger, we know we're in the right place and if you remember we construct let's get this right do the long one first <laughs> that one goes to here yep. and then finally you in, you complete this splicing in operation by taking that pointer that previously came off the beer thing turning it round and putting it on the blue box there so job done but the big point is that you were able to keep half a finger on where you came from. That's the thing. At the same time as using that to look ahead and say, yes, alphabetically I'm correct. I'm after beer and before chips. It's like standing at a road sign and knowing that you're standing in London, yeah. but the road sign says Bristol. Yes, quite. Like you're standing at the point of yeah. where it's pointing, pointing and therefore yeah. you can see both those things. Precisely so. Okay. That's right. So let's just take a quick look, and honestly this is very daring of me, I've actually put out the routine that does this in C and we'll provide this for you. If you don't believe that this works, just compile the program I give you and run it and say, wow, it does work.